Hello, in this uh, module 8 of uh, solutions architect associate uh, that is uh, securing uh, user and application access. I want to demonstrate this uh, challenge lab which is called as uh, controlling AWS account access by using IAM. So, uh, I already have it this opened in the next uh, tab. You can see that before I go through the objectives, I just want to start this lab. So, it will take couple of minutes to start the lab. So, this challenge lab, let us first understand the scenario. So, I tell you here we have very limited instructions to complete this lab. So, yes, here uh, there is AWS Sophia. So, just close this one, lab is under creation. Sophia realized that she must address some basic uh, security concerns about the way the cafe staff has been using in this AWS account. So, the cafe is now large enough, okay, it has improved so that the build, maintain and access applications. Please go through this uh, complete scenario, you need to go through the scenario. But ultimately, she made some decisions and created the chart which describes how she would like to define the access rights. Primarily, she wants to create a couple of groups. You see this one, app developers group and of course, there is another one which is called as a DB administrators. In app developers, she wanted to add this nickel as a user and provide the policies. See, this is the policy service access for that is a cloud nine access and of course, Amazon EC2. And uh, yeah, DB administrators, yes, full access to RDS and also systems manager. So, these are the two areas she wanted to provide access, okay. So, the scenario is once this access is provided, now instead of assigning permissions directly to the users, Sophia decided like this, okay. The scenario is given, the new users will inherit the correct permissions for their role developing and maintaining the AWS account infrastructure. This approach will scale as cafe expands. Now that Sophia knows what access rate, she wants to assign this to the users, okay. So, these are the objectives of our lab. After completing this, you can see this create IAM users and IAM groups. Yes, we will understand that and associate IAM policies along with the groups which you have created. Yeah, I also indicate how limited access rights can affect what resources, uh, I mean the least privileges will be given. IAM users can access and what actions they can take. Use Amazon uh, that is AWS uh, managed IAM policies to modify user access rights and observe the results. Use the IAM policy simulator to observe the scope okay, and access that is granted by different policies. Access the IAM advisor to observe what access rights different users are taking advantage and also create a custom IAM policies by using this uh, visual editor. Right. So, once you start the lab, the following resources are created for you. So, that is the cafe role attached to EC2 instance which has been okay and that is IAM and EC2 instance also you see that uh, there is one EC2 instance that is a cafe app okay development instance this is one and uh, a production instance that is EC2 instance cafe app which is defined okay and uh, this one is uh, basically connected to an RDS via MariaDB. So, all you need to do is that we need to provide permissions. So, you need to create an app developer group that and add this uh, what nickel as a user and also IAM group uh, sorry IAM group of DB administrators with uh, uh, Oliva and attach the policies as mentioned above right and not only that we need to verify using uh, we need to grant permissions using systems manager also. So, this lab is uh, meant to be completed within 80 minutes. So, the first and foremost thing once the lab is started you can start. Uh, the point, uh, the, uh, the task number one. So, configuring your account access for developers uh, challenge number one, task number one. So, we will create a group and also we will add a user with sufficient policies. Let us wait till the lab is uh, ready. I think it will take more couple of minutes of time, already four minutes over, three minutes over. Let us wait still further more. Once the lab is ready, I will get back. Yeah, now the lab is ready. Let me just explore this AWS console. So, the task number one, let us go through this particular one. Uh, this is task one. We need to create a user, I mean a group called as app developers. Yeah, I go to the console and explore this IAM. Just go to IAM. Maybe I can also duplicate this one. 
okay one i'll keep it aside so here in this iam uh, currently there are no user groups and no users attached so what i'll do i'll create a u group called as user group called as i mean uh, app developers and attach these permissions you see this one uh, we have this uh, easy to read only access and the other one is a cloud nine environment member so i'll attach this row both this uh, policies so just control v and control c press enter you should see the policy okay and then you can also see the next one is uh, uh, cloud nine okay so i just select both the policies and then create a group create a group so the group is created you can verify by clicking this app group whether both the permissions are there or not yes both the permissions are perfectly managed okay so i think uh, this completes the first user a uh, first group the point number 6 point number 7 we need to create a user called as nickel i'll create a user you see this users there are no users currently so i'll create a username called as uh, nickel okay so provide access to aws management console uh, custom generated password the password is given uh, here use only the, those passwords so again i say this is the password i also write here in the notepad for nickel user this is the password okay so custom password i give this particular one users must create a new password just untick that we don't require that and say next so uh, yes that's okay never so now add this user into this particular group we need to add into app developers so this is a mandate requirement add this one okay and in tags you don't require anything further so the sol add a new tag nothing is required create a user so the user is now created so this completes task number 7 so this is user nickel okay so now go to task number 8 while still logged on to work labs connect to cloud9 id so i will use this one as i'll keep this aside i'll use this for cloud9 okay cloud9 this is a i mean uh, a developer environment complete developer environment so i open this so what do you need to do select this dev cap server and choose the following so in the bash shell you need to copy the script and execute the script i mean you are trying to install uh, the cafe application cafe application absolutely so yes i select this and open uh, this in cloud9 okay so cloud9 environment is getting through right so what you can do i'll just expand this one already i copied into the memory execute the script paste yeah so it is installing all the application set let it install you need not wait to run the script instead go to the next step this is script step number 9 so in the right corner choose share okay once this is done what you can do is invite members and invite and done this is share okay so here i am username you can provide nickel okay and just say invite yeah don't show this notification again that's okay and say okay yeah environment added you are granted for read write access to this environment this is your url also you can copy this url maybe in the notepad this is the url in case required we can make use otherwise not required yeah so you and nickel are allowed to access the shared environment of this cloud nine yeah this is done invite members so task 1 is almost done 
task one is done so yes the installation is also might be true yes perfect so task number two logging in as nickel and testing the access so what you can do uh, you can go to incognito window okay and let me try accessing this nickel with sign in credentials uh, of the what we call as uh, IAM I shown you this is the particular URL also we need to I copy this URL also write down in your notepad also this is the URL okay. and same thing what you can do you can open this in incognito window do not run in it browser tab okay. so that will sign out the previous one Sophia's one so we are going to sign in as nickel so you sign in you see the account id is also existing here the username is nickel and i k h i l yeah the password which we have copied over there this one is okay if you have done well then you should be able to successfully log in yeah i am able to log in you can see perfectly logged into AWS management console yeah this is nickel at the rate of so and so say next and say done this is done and say done perfect go back to the previous window yeah you see this this is the one okay so here we did all these things nickel logged in this point number 10 is over point number 11 uh, you see the correct uh, open ec2 region ec2 so he asked us to open in this nickel ensure that go to ec2 and see whether both the servers are present or not in ec2 see the region as north virginia if it is not then change the region Yeah, instance there are two instances running you can see that there is one cloud 9 and production server also okay so uh, he mentioned that you should be able to see that so uh, the developer public ip address slash cafe the application should run so what is the public ip here uh, this is a developer this is the one okay developer cafe server this is your public ip copy this public IP uh, also I copy into the notepad nickel this is my public IP this will be handy for us and of course you can also say slash cafe which should show you the cafe application perfectly running so if you have done properly yes you should see the cafe website running okay so this completes point number 11 test the amazon ec2 access further by attempting uh, to restart the web server okay let me try this is point number 12 so select this uh, cafe web server this is the cafe server try to under actions uh, uh, what is that instance status reboot the server let me see now we see a red warning fail to reboot instance means that encoded authorization message failure okay just uh, remember that i mean we don't have user doesn't have full permissions to do that particular actions tip to find a reboot option look into the instance state menu so yes we did that uh, status yes we, but we didn't get anything we are unable to access the following questions in the lab so what you do to get the lab questions you have to answer this uh, questions uh, what we need to do go to details this is the one go to details we have some series of questions i mean just a show okay at the end of this access multiple choice questions we have some couple of questions also you just close this and say yeah question number one what happened when nickel tried to reboot the ec2 instance see this 
uh, an error occurred okay an error indicated that you must first stop the instance now an error indicated that you are not authorized to perform this one d the first one is d okay just say submit yeah and now the second one which i am policy allowed nickel to access this cloud nine environment so you can see this uh, cloud nine user policy that attached to apps developer group is in that he is in so this is b okay so these two are done let me go back so i'll just take this questionnaire somewhere else right so this is uh, point number 14 is over accessing the development server as nickel so here a return to the browser where you have logged in to the nickel okay browse aws this is uh, yeah we are there already uh, nickel also uh, remember you should see at the top right corner area of the browser interface okay so browse uh, this uh, cloud9 uh, development cafe server environment open this ide you can go in two methods okay so one is uh, like uh, i go back to this uh, nickel uh, this is one okay this is the other one what i can do this didn't work so i'll go back to cloud9 this is cloud nine okay uh, yeah if you don't see this shared environment it should supposed to come here shared what you can do is this you have this URL right so take this URL this is the URL for uh, your shared environment of uh, cloud nine which is uh, supposed to be for nickel let me show you that this is cloud nine and the user you should see nickel and uh, okay sophia that is uh, work labs both of them are now shared see this is nickel this is work labs both of them are shared fantastic okay so we have done this particular one you have just entered okay so let me tell you on the main web page you can see the cafe directory and double click this particular one index.php okay and uh, here we need to modify in line number 13 i copy this one so remember cafe server www.html okay so in this db server www just expand this and uh, go to html expand this and index.html so you see this yeah this is your index dot yeah php see this one this is the file index dot php this file cafe under cafe this is on line number 13 we need to modify you see this line number 13 somewhere here already copied i say paste I think you can do this particular one and this just say paste hello okay I modified I modified I'll say file save yep I have saved this so what you can do see this is the website right where is this website see this, this is the website now if you try to refresh now you see there should be a difference cafe dev side which has come this is because we had done the modifications to save the changes we did this 17 and in the cafe menu what message did it displays it displays the development return to the browser tab with multiple choice that is question number three nickel recalls the database connection parameters that are stored in which message displayed in the menu page of the cafe 
web development instance so this is the one so you can see this could not connect to database connection failed access denied i think we need to do one more thing here in 18 itself so test the connectivity with the web database i'll try to uh, do that so here uh, i mean if i try to say menu it's saying that connection failed access denied root at the rate of okay connection because access denied so he is asking the question now so could not contact the database server connection failed access for so and so user root this is uh, for uh, three okay just say connection failed and submit question number four which message was displayed when nickel opened the systems manager parameter store page in the console let me see that question number four so this is user nine okay if i say this particular one if i try to say systems manager yeah this is the main menu if i say parameter store for this particular one it says that you are not authorized see this one you are not authorized please provide the answers over there okay or not authorized to perform uh, get parameters or describe parameters please watch that once again so here uh, describe parameters describe parameters so provide the answer accordingly describe parameters right you just say submit yep fourth one is also done so go back to module 9 okay Uh, sorry uh, this point number 90 19 is done question number 3 so systems manager also we did what message it is not so point number 21 is also over so as nickel verify that the production cafe is still working yes open amazon ec2 public ip v4 and production server i think we did the same thing cafe menu php does the web web page display correctly and you can place orders let me check whether i can place the orders okay so this is a prod cafe server prod cafe server uh, as a nickel as nickel we need to do that okay i go back to ec2 instances yeah this is prod cafe server i copy this public ip this is 34 203 this is development okay and i use this one this is a different one slash cafe yeah see here i am unable to keep the orders basically but here uh, menu if i say menu yes i can suppose if i want do not about 10 members uh, maybe uh, uh, what i can say something like this five numbers and a hot chocolate about three numbers or five numbers submit the order the total yes we have this order also you can see this 42.50 perfect so this is point number 22 so this completes challenge 1 so we have a challenge 2 now So let us explore this uh, challenge too. So here, Nickel reports the results to Test Sophia. She is glad to know that the production is still site and functioning. Okay, production server is running. However, Sophia wants to correct the problem for the development site. So, so in that development site we have created, it's not connecting to the database. So she asked Oliva to fix the issue. However, so Oliva must first define the account access. So this is task three. so what we need to do we need to create an iam group called as db administrators i'll create that so this is your iam so here you see this uh, if you want you can download the files also as needed so i create the group i go back to iam uh, i go back to the groups so there is one group create a group so i create the group name called as uh, uh, db administrators and uh, i want to add uh, no not this user i want to add a new user at a later stage so go back 
So here I need to provide Amazon RDS read only access. Not here, not here, sorry. Not here. Policies. You yes, select this one and I think the next one should be something related to SSM that is your systems manager. We say copy and we need to provide access to that. Yes, you select this and also create a group like how we have created. Yeah, now you can see this DB administrators. You can try to refresh. You have app developer, one user. DB administrators, nothing. You do not have any user. So, let me create a user now as per the requirements. As per the requirements, this is uh, uh, create a user called as Aliva, that is point number 24. Yeah, add user, name as Oliva and provide okay management console custom password the password name is as provided here this is a db administrators this is for oliva see this show password users need not change the password okay oh uh, that's fine i'll also copy down in my this thing This is for Oliva. Okay, show password not required. Users must create. Okay, say next. And uh, it should be a part of your what we call as uh, DB administrators. See this one? DB administrators group. Right. And say next tags i think i don't think nothing is required here uh, tagging is not required okay did not mention anything specific create a user yeah if you want you can download the csv file also optionally so return to users list so just to be sure to be sure what i do uh, this is the oliva user you try to refresh okay you we do not have any login activity here see this one Aliva should be should be member of these two RDS access and your SSM full access you see and in security credentials we already provided what we call as a console and this is your console UID okay updated now console password etc right so now let me go back to uh, task number four so login as a DB administrator and resolving the database connectivity issue. So, this is point number 26, log into the console. So, here tip in the cognitive private session of the other browser type, you need to log in as nickel. Uh, you used to log in as nickel, choose nickel at the rate of account number at the top console and say sign out and log in back. So, what I do here in this, so here I sign out, I sign out. Yep. So, you can say login back, sign into console or, uh, or I can use this particular one, what I can do, uh, this URL because this has account ID. Remember your account ID should be displaying and your Oliva account, this is your password. So, I can say O L I Oliva and your password should be something like this and say sign in. Information is incorrect. So, when I try to access this uh, uh, user Oliva, I am able to successfully log in. 
okay so just say okay right don't say this so go back to your module 8 so i have successfully logged in uh, with i am user and password so and so now it is point number 27 uh, so open this rds and choose this databases let me see the status of the database so this is for oliva user so go to rds see that you have to do this in oliva user so here these are the database you see one database instance is there and you can see one of the database called as a cafe database instance yes it is available so now uh, yeah here is available oliva observes the following database is running she recalls the development environment and connects to database by using parameters that are stored in systems manager so she wanted to go to systems manager store Oliva wonders if this development uh, cafe server EC2 has permissions to read this particular one. So open EC2 and instance running. So return to the browser. Okay, with this one. So let me see. So if I go back, I, I'll just duplicate this one. I just duplicate. Maybe here I'll see. I go back to services as EC2. So here once you go to the EC2 and go to instances, choose instances running. So return to the browser tab with multiple choice questions. Question number 5. Why can't Oliva access this EC2 instance details? Let me see. Yeah, you are not authorized. You see this North Virginia. I am still in North Virginia only but still I am not able to see the, both the servers. So the answer is uh, uh, you don't have you are not authorized you are not authorized. So let me answer this fifth question. Let me answer this fifth question. See here. So she doesn't have Amazon EC2 permissions. Absolutely, the EC2 instance are running in a different uh, what we call as a region now. We have changed the region. She has EC2 permissions but also need CloudWatch permissions. So I say submit this particular one. So just say submit. Yep, go back. So now you will work as a Sophia to update some. Return to the browser tab where you have logged in as Work Labs user Sophia. So open this DB administrators and attach these policies. Okay, EC2. These two policies we need to attach uh, EC2 read only access and of course IAM read only access. Uh, this is my IAM. Okay, so go back to user groups, DB administrators. So we have a couple of permissions here you see earlier. So we need to add some more permissions, add permissions. Just click that, attach policy, uh, try to type the first one. So this is the first one, I attach more, okay still more, I am read policy, read only access. okay just say add permissions so now you should see there are four permissions the apart from the earlier two we have added ec2 read only access and also we have added amazon uh, what we call as uh, uh, iam read only access these two uh, read only access sophia realizes that oliva needs some iam permissions and she must access so we have given that still as a uh, work labs sophia uh, which we are in services features. So in the IAM console, Oliva, uh, choose the access advisor tab. Okay. So go to your Oliva user, Oliva, All right. See this access advisor tab. There is something is the permissions which is in JSON. You see, uh, allowed services. Okay. Okay. You can see that the services recently visited. Uh, service activity usually appears 4 hours, appears within 4 hours. 
so you might not see last access data for the oliva yet so it is going to take some time to show the oliva data so not access not access okay so it will show you after 4 hours okay so what you can do as uh, point number 33 as oliva return to the browser tab of oliva and then instance in the ec2 cons console let me go through this oliva login access this is the one so i try to refresh now let me see yeah i am able to see the servers here both the servers production server and Devel development cafe server absolutely so here should now be able to select uh, the development cafe server uh, details find iam role and cafe role so here in this development cafe server yeah this particular one where we are unable to connect to the database so under actions you can see uh, under security uh, modify this iam role so this particular one we need to add a role more more roles so in detail iam role uh, choose this cafe role choose this uh, cafe role in permissions also we need to expand the policies yeah cafe role so which is already there update iam role this is already there I, I didn't make any change here I didn't make any change here you see this there are two instances which are running yeah two instances this is the cafe role which is already there which is already there you see this one in security uh, I modify this IAM role this cafe role is already there okay uh, yep now go back find uh, in details tab find IAM role in the permissions tab expand this in this permissions tab okay so you see this in this uh, cafe development server uh, scroll down you see this uh, cafe IAM role okay just select that it opens a new window okay just look into the permissions yeah this is the summary yeah this is the permissions tab just scroll down you need permissions not set in the permissions you can see uh, various kind of policies uh, which has been attached now uh, amazon select this amazon ssm managed instance core uh, yeah this particular one select this and you can uh, uh, review this uh, policy details also uh, policy to see the permission details in JSON see this click that you should see the permissions yeah in JSON you can you need to review you need not do any changes here just review this one uh, to understand for you that the JSON can be used as a policy right so now let me go, come back so return back to the browser this is point number 34 question number 6 name the two specific actions in the policy that allow cafe web application on the instance to access this database credentials in the parameter store okay this is uh, question number 6 so name two specific uh, actions in the policy that the cafe web application of the instance to access this database credentials in the parameter store so think you can select this particular one uh, and SSM get parameters just say submit yeah so return back so hence these questions are almost done 34 so after some conversation so Sophia remembers that the development environment previously local database so and so as Oliva update the DB user value in the system parameter store we need to do that Oliva update the DB value of the parameter store. So, how do we do that? Sophia asks Oliva to check whether the database username of the source 
to update it. So, in the web application on the database cafe server menu page, uh, you can see this uh, cafe application in a browser, uh, the public IP. Does the page correctly, uh, can you successfully submit an order? So, now let me open this, uh, uh, what we call a systems manager and update this uh, DB user, ok. So, how do I do that? So, I go back to uh, this particular one. Uh, which is uh, systems manager systems manager you need to do it with oliva ok go to parameter store once this is open it is a bit slow yeah this is parameter store this uh, connection parameters will be available in this particular one since uh, yeah uh, the db name you see this one db name uh, db user so earlier the db user is uh, what we call as uh, the value is now uh, let me try to edit yeah it is root it's, it is correct only so what did he mention see this db user value in the systems manager parameter store as oliva update so now the challenge is we need to update the db user value so earlier it is showing as root actually you see this it is showing as root but let us check really what the database parameters contain uh, maybe because of that it is might be stucking let us check so this is your rds uh, this is your database let me just select the database this is my database uh, let me just go through uh, connections and security just go through that ok security group info replication uh, compute resource you see this configuration let me check this configuration in this configuration you see this master username is as admin master username is as admin so we need to configure this here uh, I mean change this one change this one as admin ok so instead of root we need to say as admin ok and uh, try to save changes ok so we have changed this one let us explore this uh, what we call as development server uh, public IP not this this is your where is your EC2 your cafe server I'll just say this is cloud 9 is to yeah this is my public IP of my development server okay earlier which I was unable to connect to my database now let me check slash cafe yeah I am able to connect to my database uh, sorry my web server uh, let me check my order history yes I am able to now I can place orders I can place orders you can see this this is the development server so yes I think yes load this development IP we added this this space uh, uh, correctly now can you successfully submit the order yes I can successfully let me try successfully placing an order maybe a page tree I'll say 10 numbers and I'll say I'll try to submit yeah it is it is perfectly the server is now running so now this completes challenge number two yeah we need to explore this challenge three Frank and Martha are happy that Sophia and the team 
uh, improved the security of AWS account. Meanwhile, Sophia is happy that she is able to configure different permissions and so on. Please go through that. Task number five, using the IAM policy simulator and creating a custom IAM policy with visual editor. Return to the browser okay, with Vocalabs user Sophia, so and so, this policy. Okay. Uh, in a new browser tab, okay, I open this in a new window. The IAM policy simulator page should open. So, this is the policy simulator page. Let it open. Yep. So, choose the Oliva user here. Choose this Oliva user. I have chosen. So, in the IAM policies, uh, make sure IAM read only access policy is selected. Read only access policy is selected. Right. However, clear the checkbox of the other policies. I want to clear the checkbox. I'll say go back. Uh, I can, this one I can uncheck, uncheck, uncheck all. Yeah, only check this IAM read only policies. Okay, fine. See, in the policy simulator section, choose select service. In the filter search box, enter ID ENT and select identity management. In the policy simulator section, select the service. Yeah, select the service as maybe he says that ID ENT. You can type it or ABCDHIDENT. Yeah, identity and access management. That's what he meant to say. Right. Choose select all options to the right to select options and run simulations. You see this one select all. Yeah, and run simulation. Okay, before that, you can see the run simulation. In the action settings of the results panel, a list of actions should display the permissions of the Oliva for each and every action, add and create actions, add or create actions. However, scroll down, uh, scroll to the find action that she can take, run simulation, yeah, you can see that the policies, what all she can allowed or denied, you see all these things at the bottom, list policies. So, he asked you uh, permissions to outperform, add or create actions. However, scroll to find the actions that she can take. The summary at the top, I mean allowed is something like 57 policies I think she can. Uh, you see here 68 actions are allowed, one or two are denied. That's all about this for learning. Sophia now has the only reason she granted that so and so, okay, DB administrator. In the next step, you will work with Sophia to create a new policy. Let us learn about how to create a new policy. Return to the browser where you have logged in so you book labs user, okay. In the IAM console policies, create a policy. So here, uh, okay, I go back to IAM. Go back to IAM. So now here, we are going to create a policy. So here, you see this one. This is IAM dashboard policies and create a policy. Create a policy. Yeah. So in the visual editor, configure the following settings. In the visual editor. You see this one, visual editor, you have the following configurations which is required. Okay, we need to select EC2 under actions IAM. Choose a service, you say EC2. Where is this EC2? Otherwise, you can say EC2. Just say EC2. This is easier. Under actions, yeah. Uh, search for IAM and select describe IAM instance profile associations. Okay, uh, IAM. You can say describe IAM instance profile. Select this. 
instance profile okay scroll down at the bottom add additional permissions add additional permissions okay you see this this is a choose a service okay choose a service search for iam choose a service select for iam otherwise you can write it here find a service iam select this iam okay actions is done okay in the actions uh, search for get at the following uh, services there uh, is this get okay get and you need to select get policy version role first let me select this policy version yeah and also the role is the second one yeah what else role policy and instance profile yeah and instance profile select all these four so back to the search box search for list okay we have selected and we say list remember we are trying to create a policy so list attached role policies instance profiles attached role policies uh, what are the other things you see list policies uh, list instance profiles instance profile not profile tags profile instance profiles profiles for role what is it profiles for role okay role policies and roles so total 1 2 3 4 5 6 policies we have attached so expand resources so this is done expand resources yeah so you need to select certain things resources and search for all the three type instance profile policy and role select any in this account 1 2 any in this account all the three has been selected okay so now once this is selected uh, back at the top choose json so once this is done back at the top you can see the policy in json so this is the complete policy which has been created based on the inputs which you have given okay right this exactly it looks like this right so review the policy and create the policy scroll down uh, next tags shown in the following example unfortunately in this lab we can't grant you permissions to create iam policy you will get permissions error review policy and create a policy okay so you need permissions unfortunately this is only for your learning which has been given so next review and say create a policy it may not no. so the policy name you can give the policy name create a policy okay the policy search box yeah so you can give any policy name by choosing cancel exit if you try to give a name suppose if i give my name this is a customized policy which i have created with all the parameters if i say create it may say denied you need permissions it's which is expected so in the policies so search for a limited iam policies 46 this is so click this policy so i i say exit cancel in this policies i say uh, limited iam policy you see this one search for uh, limited iam policy
yeah you can see this limited iam policy okay iam policy observe the policy details match your you build as shown in the previous one. the same one which we did earlier you can see this limited iam policy which has been created for you uh, in this uh, policy or maybe you can see in json also the same one is showing the same one which is for your demonstration okay edit the db administrators iam group so go to user groups db administrators okay i am into db administrators so what we need to do attach limited iam policy and remove iam read only policy see what i do here in this policy the permissions i attach this policy limited iam policy attach this limited iam policy this is db administrators you see this try to edit okay permission policies let's say limited which is not coming limited iam policy let me check should have removed all these things it's not coming okay this limited iam policy i i attach to uh, this policy to db administrators group let me check okay where is this db administrators group db administrators group and attach also he mentioned one more thing to detach a policy called as uh, uh, iam read only policy so let me detach this policy which is there so we go to user administrators db administrators you see this permissions so limited iam policy is attached now maybe we can remove of this policy i am read only access policy okay he asked you to remove i mean uh, remove delete yeah it is successful you see the permissions now we have limited i am policy perfect so return to the browser okay of your development instance in your details notice that you can see i am role attached to uh, is called as a cafe role we saw that earlier still oliva can go and to the iam console uh, choose roles okay uh, search for cafe role okay uh, yeah in the ec2 instance let me go to this ec2 instance where is this ec2 instance yeah ec2 instance yeah this is your development cafe server in the details notice that iam role is attached as cafe role let me show you earlier also we checked i am role is cafe role uh, still as oliva go to the i am console roles search for the cafe role okay in the permissions tab still the oliva as oliva go to the i am console choose roles 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 search for cafe role you see this cafe role should be here yes this is your cafe role
yeah. uh, search for cafe roll and in the permissions tab expand this uh, SSM core and verify that you can still see this uh, JSON details yes or no this one SSM yeah I can see uh, the JSON yeah in this particular one absolutely you can still access this one this is optional policy simulator which we have done earlier I think that is all from this Sophia believes that she is becoming good and so and so submitting your work and finally we have completed our task I think it is a good time for us to uh, submit our task so we have finished this and let me try to submit this task okay submit so just wait for your grade how much you got it so the result do not display here yeah, you can see this Yeah, you have about 29 by 30 that is ok one of the answer is correct wrong rest all our exercise is proper ok so that is all from this particular module 8 challenge lab uh, thank you and bye